Hello students, in this video I will go through the process of constructing a reflection over a given line. Let's take a look. Okay, so first thing I need you to do on a sheet of blank paper, what we're going to do is we're going to have to draw a set of givens. So let's draw a, uh, a line that we're going to be reflecting things over and I want to draw my line right across the middle like so and what I'm going to be reflecting over this line is a triangle let's do a triangle so I'm going to place a dot here and I'll call that A I'm going to place a dot over here and I'll call that B and I'm going to place a dot over here and we'll call that C and I want you to do the same and what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect these three points together like so So I want you to have something relatively similar to this. It doesn't have to be exactly like this, but something to that effect, okay? All right, so if you recall from our studies in the class, from the videos that I've made uh, related to the algebraic approach of reflecting something uh, over, a, uh, over a line, you will recall that the distance between any point on the object to the given line, when once reflected over that line, that distance that the point is away from the line should be the same on the other side. And how do we get that distance? That distance it's not, is not some random distance that the point is away from the line. It is the shortest distance that this point is away from the line. And how do we get that shortest distance? Well, the shortest distance happens to be a line that is perpendicular to this line segment that we are reflecting over. So this point, once reflected, if we were to connect this point to the other side, we would end up with a line that's going to be perpendicular to this line, and the segment on the top will be the, will be the same length as the segment below. So how do we... That's the idea, okay? And if you understand that idea, then um, rebuilding, reconstructing that, those ideas uh, when you're asked to do so will just make the process that much easier. So let's take a look how we can do that. Now, again, the idea is, one more time, I want this point to be the same distance away from this line as it is on the other side. So in a sense, what we're doing is we're actually creating a, uh, we're creating a, a, a bisector, okay? So what we're going to do is we're gonna place our pin on A. I wanna open it up so that it passes the line, okay? Just by a little, it doesn't have to be much. Notice how much I have over here, okay? Uh, I, I need to press my, get the lead out. Okay, hold on. Okay. So I want to place my pen here, and what I'm going to do, I open it up to just a little more um, across the line so that I can draw an arc. And that arc intersecting the line at two different points. So what have I done here? Uh, what I've done essentially is, okay, is I have two points of intersection now distance from here to point A is going to be the same as the distance from here to point A. This is, in a sense, an isosceles triangle. So what am I going to do? Well, if I want to get this distance, to, um, if I want to get this same exact triangle on the other side, okay, all I have to do is just keep the same compass setting here, and I place my, I place my pin on the point of intersection, I'm going to make an arc, and I lift up my compass, place my pin on the other point of intersection, and 
draw an arc like so. All the while, I have not changed the compass setting at all. And one more time, what's the logic here? One more time, this, by, by the arc that I drew initially, I've created an isosceles triangle. I wanna keep that length, the leg of the isosceles triangle, I wanna maintain it and bring it on the other side. And when I draw the points of, uh, draw the arcs and have those arcs intersect, the distance from here to here is going to be the same as the distance from here to point A. I'm going to label this point now A prime. And I am not going to do any connecting because one more time I need to, you know, find out where my B prime and my C prime is. So I'm going to take my compass, okay? And actually the more the more points we have, the busier the diagram. One more time, the uh, the approach is we open up the compass, so just a little more, okay, uh, past the uh, the line segment. The idea is we want to draw an arc so that it will intersect the line segment at two different points. So you don't want it to be too much because if you do, then your arc ends up being gigantic and um, and it won't be in the line segment that you have will not be able to sustain that arc that you're drawing. So again, you draw that arc. That arc intersects at two different points. You keep the same compass setting, right? So the distance from here to B is the same as the distance from here to B. I want those distances to be on the other side of the line segment. I place my compass, the pin, on the point of intersection. I draw an arc. Pick up the compass, same compass setting, place the pin on the other point of intersection. You draw another arc. The intersections of those two arcs give us B prime. Same idea, you take your compass, you place the pin on C, open up the compass setting to just a little more. I, I'm changing it from the one from uh, my setting for B because again, I don't need it to be that big. If I, if I make it too big, it can get very confusing because all these different construction lines, all these different construction arcs are going to intersect one another and I don't want you know the diagram to be too busy alright so now that I have this okay keep the same compass setting place the pin on the point of intersection draw an arc pick up the compass place the pin on the other point of intersection keep track of the points of intersections of the arcs that you're drawing make a draw an arc have it intersect the last arc that you just made let's call this point here c prime so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my straight edge and i am going to connect the points of intersections So that's my A prime, B prime, and you can see it is a direct reflection of that. And again, I take my straight edge, do the same thing with A prime, C prime. And do the same thing with B prime, C prime. When you're drawing these lines, don't have the straight edge right don't do not have the straight edge right up against the point of intersection because you know your 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 pen tip okay or your pencil tip actually has a little bit of thickness to it so give yourself a little slack okay approximate that um, don't place the straight edge right up against the point of intersection when you're trying to draw that line because if you do your lines will end up being offset all right, so I lift up my straight edge and you can see this is a direct reflection. All the lines, okay, from here to here, from here to here, from here to there, they are all the same, same length, okay? The, the length from here to here, from here to there is the same, 
Okay, so one more time, just to recap, what you're doing is when you're reflecting, you're opening up the compass, place your pin on the point, draw an arc, keep the same compass setting, place your pin on the points of intersections, draw another arc on the other side of the line segment, and you will have the point reflected.